So we're talking about Andy Warhol today, and we're going to read this book called Uncle Andy's Cats by James Warhola. Uncle Andy's Cats. Uncle Andy said it all started with a little blue pussycat named Hester. She was just a kitty when I got her from a fabulous movie star called Gloria. Little Hester just loved Uncle Andy's house. It was tall and skinny and perfect for dashing up and down stairs and hiding among the antiques. The only time Hester was still was when she was staring at Grandma Bubba's Mina Bird Echo. Our visits to Uncle Andy's, we would look and look, but we still could not find Hester. Little Hester grew and grew and grew and became Big Hester. Uncle Andy and Bubba thought Hester was lonely and they decided to get Sam. It was love at first sight. Uncle Andy enjoyed Sam and Hester's company when he painted late at night in his studio. And when it was bedtime, the cat's favorite spot was Uncle Andy's big drawer. One visit, there were kittens, lots and lots of kittens. Uncle Andy said, it's so marvelous. Hester is now a mommy. Bubba said, they all look like their papa. So let's name each one of them Sam. Little Sams, the little Sams loved their tall, skinny house too. The only time we ever saw all the Sams was when Bubba called them for their favorite meal, oatmeal and liver. Uncle Andy said that the Sams liked us best when we were sleeping, and I think Uncle Andy did too. We always loved snooping around at Uncle Andy's, and one day we got another surprise. Hester and Sam were Mommy and Daddy again. The kittens all looked just like their daddy, so they were also named Sam, and that made for a whole lot of Sams. Uncle Andy was sometimes interrupted when a herd of Sams would stampede through his art studio, and the neighbors were interrupted when the Sams would sneak up to the roof. The Sams loved to rumble amongst Uncle Andy's soup boxes. And at the end of the long day, they found that sleeping in Uncle Andy's room was very comfortable. Now, Bubba and Echo had a little bit too much company. Andy, there are just too many Sams, Bubba told him. But Uncle Andy did not know what to do. We brought three Sams home with us, but that didn't work out too well when they wouldn't come down from the roof. Finally, Uncle Andy had a plan. Uncle Andy and Bubba drew and painted the most marvelous portraits of Hester and all the Sams. After many days of working, the art was finally ready to be sent to the printer. Uncle Andy and Bubba each created a fabulous book. Uncle Andy's was called 25 Cats Named Sam and One Blue Pussy and Bubba named hers Holy Cats by Andy Warhol's mother. The books were a huge hit and the Sams became famous overnight. They came from uptown and downtown to get a Sam because everyone wanted a Sam. In no time at all, things were just about back to normal. 
And that made Uncle Andy and Bubba very pleased. And as it turned out, Hester and Sam were just the right amount of cats for the tall, skinny house. That little girl sang holy moly, and if you look really close, there are two mice and lots of little mice on that window. The end. <laughs>